Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make these little miniature acrylic paints that I did. Um, and what you're going to need to do is go on my Facebook page. I'll also eventually put this on my website. But this is the template that you're going to need to download. It's a miniature acrylic paint template. All right. My Facebook page is Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials. You can look under the photos. And when you get under the photos, you will see Miniature Craft Room Supplies. This is the album that I'm going to load it into. So then you'll be able to see what you're going to get. All right. So if you haven't liked and subscribed already, don't forget to click the bell to be notified. And we'll get started and I'll show you how to make these. They're really simple. One sheet of paper, prints it, and it makes a ton of them. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to download the paper. And, you know, it's not the brand of acrylic paint that um, you can buy in the store because I designed it myself. It just says Apple Acrylic um, for copyright reasons. But it's close enough that when it's miniature, you kind of get the idea that it resembles that. All right, and here you have two different ways that you can do it. And I want to show you the difference between the two. All right, the first way you can use a toothpick and then the second way you can use a Q-tip. Either way, it's gonna be miniaturized. All right, so I'm gonna just move these out of the way. Okay, so if you're going to use the toothpick idea, I would suggest that you paint them before you make them, all right? Just paint down about an eighth of an inch on each of the toothpick flatten the top and then you'll have it however if you use the solid white q-tip then you don't have to do any of that you can just kind of use it like it is all right i cut mine so that i can do two for each one um, you could get more out of one um, q-tip but i prefer not to hold on to it when it's really tiny and you can get these from dollar tree so they're super cheap to use all right, in the meantime, get yourself some tacky glue. I'm using the Aline's tacky glue. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting a tiny bit on the paper. And I'm just gonna kinda roll it around there. And then I'm gonna take my finger and just kinda go down it just a little bit. All right, you want to come down about an eighth of an inch. If actually, no, it's probably a little less than that. Um, and then you want to just kind of hold it there for a minute while it gets tacky. That way it sets up. After that, then you want to go ahead and just kind of, you don't need to cover the whole entire thing. The important part is that the end is covered fully. And the rest can just have a little bit in there. All right, once you've done that, then you just want to hold it and just roll it. Try to keep the top even. Don't worry about the bottom. And then afterwards, just take it in your fingers and just hold it like that and just keep rolling it. All right? You want to let that dry. Now, you can do the other end the same exact way. And the reason I'm doing it on the Q-tip is because it gets smaller. Now, remember not to use this end. You have to always start with the opposite end. Try to keep it straight. Hold it there for a second. That's so the tacky glue gets a little set up. 
just kind of roll it. All right. And as you can tell, I didn't get enough on that end there. So now I got to go back and put some on there because it's not enough on there. All right. And then roll it in your fingers like this. Now, if you do not have the three in one multi cut tool, that's okay. You can use a razor blade if you're careful enough to cut the bottom off. You have these two. You can just kind of go like this and cut it down. It'll go right through there. But I went ahead and I bought this 3-in-1 multi-cut tool a while ago. And it has like been amazing for me. So that's what I like to use. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put that on there. Cut it off. Put it even with that one. Cut it off. Now that I've cut that off, I have enough to do another one. All right. Now, at this point, you need to get yourself some 400 grit sandpaper. Make sure this is fully dry and just go in circles until you get it completely flat. And that way it'll stand up. Because otherwise it might fall over or be lopsided. And while I'm doing this, I'm also rotating it in my hand. So I'm doing this kind of motion. That way my fingers don't crush the roundness of it. And then there you have a nice flat bottom. Now personally, I think the um, Q-tips can't think right now sorry it's early I think the q-tips make a better paint than the toothpick see like here's two red ones and you tell me what you think is the better let me set that up so you can see it better All right, so that's them. You can make as many of those as you want um, because you can just keep printing the sheet. Um, the sheet comes with a ton of them on there, so you can make a lot with one package. And if you want to make larger ones, you can. All you have to do is um, use a larger center and then just wrap it around that way. So, for instance, I mean, I know this would not be something that you would use, but just for purposes of showing you that you can change the size. If you wanted to wrap it around a pencil or a wooden dowel and then have the top of the dowel stick up so that you have a bigger can, you could do that. And then you would have like a jar of paint or a can of paint or something like that. Okay, so now if you want to make a paintbrush that looks like this, what you want to do is get yourself some of these flat toothpicks they're called party picks. They're square with a round tip. Okay, so you wanna go ahead and cut the tip of it off. Once you get it cut off, it should look like this. And then this part is square. So you wanna hold one end and just sand it to a point, flip it over, and then do the opposite side. Okay, after that, what I'm doing is I'm taking a Sharpie and I'm going to go over it and paint it. You want to get yourself some silver duct tape or nail tape if you have nail tape, like nail art. All right, and I'm painting them.
Now, obviously, if you want to make some of these and um, you want bigger brushes and stuff, you can do that. And if you go on my website under dollhousetutorials.com, I do actually have a whole painter thing where I did paint buckets and a painting room and um, some actual like real paint brushes that you would like paint walls and stuff with. That's on there. Go under dollhouse builds when you get there and you'll it'll take you right to the little dude. And I'll try to remember to show it to you by the time I finish this video. Okay, so once you have them all painted, then what you want to do is get your silver tape. All right, I taped it to my computer. Probably not the wisest choice for someone else. But I'm just going to make a couple slits and then pull it off. And then I have myself some little rows. I would recommend you not do this to your computer. All right, now that you've scratched up your computer like mine, you wanna take the thin part first and you want to put it on there pretty tightly and then wrap it around. Once you get it wrapped, then you wanna cut some of the excess off. And then there you have a paintbrush. All right, I'm going to show you one more time. Make sure you cover the black. Oh, I'm not even in the camera. I forgot I zoomed in. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so cover your black. I'll wrap it around. Make sure it sticks to the other side of the duct tape because otherwise it's not going to stick very well. And you might want to use some crazy glue or something to finish it off if it's not sticking very well. But then just kind of, you can twirl it like that to get it to stick a little bit better if you want. But there's your paintbrush. For a doll's house, that's pretty um, good because they're not going to see that. Now, another option you may do is take some foam board that's thick. You know, this came from Dollar Tree, so this one isn't as thick as what I would like to have it as. And you can just go ahead and cut it like that. And then just paint that if you don't have the option, just to kind of give it that look that it could possibly be a paintbrush. Not the best option, but if you don't have the ability to cut and do all that, then, you know, for a doll, they'll never know the difference. All right. So that's it for this one. Again, don't forget the download this template on my Facebook page, Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials. Go to Dollhouse Tutorials as well. I will be posting it on there so that you can check it out. And this is what it should look like when you're done. And Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials is what you want to look for. All right, this is my dad and I. Hopefully we'll see you in the next video. So hit the bell to get notified. Subscribe below and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks a lot for watching.